I'm Tom Logan, and I'm talking to you from Tokyo, Japan. I am one of approximately 8 million Americans who happen to live outside of the United States. I myself am registered in the state of Nevada, and I have been a Republican for all of my voting life. We, Americans overseas, can see more often than not the impact of Americans pol America's policies overseas, and particularly in the case of Donald Trump. We see the impact of him refusing to accept the results of the democratically held election in the United States for president. This is something that I never thought I would see in my own lifetime. We see the lawsuits that have been filed frivolously being tossed out one after the other. We see a lack of cooperation and allowing the establishment of transition teams to do their work. And the area this impacts the U.S. most negatively is in the area of national security. Here in Asia, we have our hands full. From Iran, further on down the road, to China, and then North Korea, just next door. It's only a matter of time that you're going to see a provocation. The longer that this goes on, and the more confusing the situation is in terms of the peaceful transfer of power in the United States. I often hear many Japanese tell me things such as, Bonsan, ano dokusai sha dattara, ontani daijoubu desu ka? In English, Tom, what's up with the dictator? Is he going to uh, allow his power to be given up? Uh, these, this is not a joke. This is not a drill. These are serious concerns by serious friends of the United States, allies here in Japan from all walks of life, from students all the way up to people that I know in the Japanese government. So we're pleading as Republicans to recognize the rule of law and recognize the peaceful transfer of power and recognize the election of Donald Trump's opponent, Vice President Joe Biden, who is now president-elect. Thank you.